Under the Stairs Bookcase In this video, we learn how to turn the wasted space under the stairs into a beautiful and useful recessed bookshelf. To begin, we need to find the studs, trace out the stud pattern, and design the bookshelf accordingly. The plan is to create boxes that fit between the studs, attach them to the studs with screws, and then hide the seams with trim. After cutting out the drywall for the boxes, we can build them out of plywood and attach them together with screws or nails. We also need to drill holes for adjustable shelving and cut the shelves to size. We can then paint and decorate the bookshelf to match our space. Finally, we put the boxes into place, attach them to the studs, and add trim around the edges to finish. Check out Lowe's.com how to for more project ideas. Install a Pebble Tile Accent Wall In this tutorial, we learn how to apply pebble tiles to create an accent wall. After prepping the wall, you will need a few tools like scissors, premixed thin set, a notched trowel, sealant, a sponge, rubber sponge float, and a roller with a pan. Work in 3 foot by 3 foot blocks, apply thin set on the wall, and create grooves with the notched trowel. Apply the pebble tiles and use the rubber sponge float to apply grout. Wipe the excess grout with a sponge and water, and repeat until all the stones are in place. After the grout dries, apply the sealant to the stones and add a piece of molding to complete the project. To maintain the accent wall, wash it down with a sponge. Molding Shoe Rack Today, we're going to show you a creative and stylish way to organize and display your pumps by using moldings on your walls. Step 1. Measure and cut your molding. The first thing you need to do is measure the length of your wall where you want to hang your moldings. Once you have your measurements, use your saw to cut the molding to the correct length. Make sure to use sandpaper to smooth out any rough edges. Step 2. Hang your molding. Next, it's time to hang your molding on the wall. Use a level to ensure that it is straight, and then secure it to the wall using screws or nails. Repeat this process with each piece of molding until you have enough to store all your pumps. Step 3. Organize your pumps. Now that your molding is securely attached to the wall, it's time to organize your pumps. Simply slide the heels of your pumps into the molding, and they will be held securely in place. You can choose to arrange your pumps in any way you like, such as by color or style. Install sheet vinyl around a toilet. Many people believe that they need to remove their toilet before installing new flooring, but that's not the case. By using fiberglass vinyl flooring, you can leave your toilet in place and still achieve a seamless, flat surface. Here's how you can do it. With your vinyl flooring in place, make relief cuts around the toilet using a utility knife. These cuts will allow you to work the vinyl around the toilet and prevent any tearing that may occur. Carefully work the vinyl around the toilet bowl, smoothing it out as you go. Make sure the vinyl is flat against the floor and there are no bubbles or wrinkles. Build an in-ground fire pit. If you're building a fire pit in your yard, you'll need a stable foundation for the blocks. Using a shovel, remove the sod from the fire pit area to a depth of 2 inches. Once the grass is removed, compact the soil using a hand tamper. This will create a firm and stable base for the paver. With the paver base now in place, you're ready to start placing the fire pit blocks. Create a plywood stool. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a plywood stool. Stick the template to the plywood. Using a drill, create a hole in the cross of the template. Then, insert the jigsaw and carefully cut out the profile. Continue cutting out the template, taking care to follow the lines. Step 3. Assemble the pieces. Now it's time to assemble the three pieces of the stool. And that's it. You've just created a simple and stylish plywood stool. Welcome to our tutorial on creating a geometric feature wall using frog tape and paint. With just a few simple steps, you can transform a plain wall into a bold and eye-catching statement. Using a paintbrush or roller, apply the first color of paint to the designated areas. Allow the paint to dry completely before removing the frog tape. And there you have it. 
In just a few simple steps, you've created a stunning geometric feature wall using frog tape and paint. Place the sea pebbles in the shower. Welcome to our tutorial on installing a pebble tile shower floor. Pebble tile floors are a popular choice for showers because they add a natural, textured look and feel to the space. Prepper the shower floor. Make sure it is clean and dry. If necessary, remove any old tile or flooring and level the surface. Dry fit the pebble tile sheets over the shower floor to determine the best placement. Be sure to pick stones with minimal glue on the mesh. Apply white thinset mortar. Remove the pebble tile sheets and apply white thinset mortar to the shower floor. Use a trowel to spread the mortar evenly, making sure to cover the entire surface. By following these simple steps, you can install a beautiful and natural pebble tile shower floor. Mosaic Tiles here are the steps you'll need to follow, adjust the niche to the desired height. First, adjust the niche to the desired height using a template. This will ensure that the mosaic tiles are level with the surrounding tile. Lay the mosaic tiles. Once the base is prepared, you can start laying the mosaic tiles. Use a trowel to spread the adhesive evenly over the base, making sure to leave the broached area with a thicker layer of adhesive. Carefully set the mosaic tiles in place, making sure they are level with the surrounding tile. Allow the adhesive to dry completely according to the manufacturer's instructions. By following these simple steps, you can prepare the base for laying mosaic tiles and ensure that they are level with the surrounding tile. How to make a mini pond Looking to add a pond to your space but not interested in maintaining a large one? Why not create a mini pond instead? Water is a vital part of life and symbolizes peace and new beginnings. Creating your own mini pond can be a beautiful addition to your space and also provide a home for a variety of wildlife. From freshwater fish to floating plants, there are endless possibilities for creating your own little ecosystem. Even a small pond, like one made from a plant pot or upcycled basin, can bring life to your garden. 3 Drawer Unit by Smart if you're looking to maximize the space in your home, a three-drawer unit is a great way to do it. This popular understairs storage unit provides ample space for shoes, bags, vacuum cleaners, wine, and much more. To assemble this unit, you'll need to follow these detailed instructions. With the right tools and a bit of patience, you should be able to fit one of these flat pack units in a few hours. Once the unit is assembled, you can start using it to organize your belongings and free up valuable space in your home. These understairs storage units are a great investment for any homeowner, and they're sure to provide years of reliable storage and convenience. Modern Wall Design with Masking Tape Have you had enough of monotonous wall paint and want to add some zing to your home? Not a problem. All you need is your favorite paint color, new shelves, masking tape from Tisa, and a little bit of creative energy. In no time at all, you'll turn a boring part of the room into an exciting and unique place, creating a new atmosphere for your living space. Create an indoor herb garden. Creating an indoor herb garden is a great way to bring fresh flavors to your cooking without the need for a large garden. In fact, you can easily build your own stylish indoor herb garden with just a few simple tools and materials. In this video, we'll show you step-by-step -step how to create your own indoor herb garden using items such as mason jars, potting soil, and a wooden board. With a little bit of creativity, you can customize your herb garden to fit your personal style and taste. Not only does an indoor herb garden provide fresh herbs for cooking, but it also adds a beautiful and natural touch to your home decor. Hey guys, this is Megan and Madison here with Great Idea. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let everyone know in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the latest videos here. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching. See you guys next time.